In this video segment, we'll look at using the CAD to View tool for the purpose of creating details for your construction drawings. In this first example, I want to augment the door and window schedule with a profile view you see on the bottom of this layout sheet of the doors and windows. From this front elevation in the sample plan, underneath the CAD menu is a tool called CAD Detail from View. This creates a CAD detail of all of the specific lines from that view. Each one of these lines is editable. The view is not dynamic to the plan, meaning if you move walls, add doors or windows, this view will not update. The purpose of it is to use it to create details for your construction drawings. It created an elevation view. You can see that it's open in my project browser. It came in as a default name, Elevation 1. You can click on this and change the name of it. I'm just going to call it Door Elevation. And now I can use the CAD tools to come in and clip out those components that may make it faster to create a detail. And effectively what I want to do is I click on the door and window elevations that I've already clipped out. I want to use this for my door and window schedule so I can add details on it to assist in creating that drawing sheet. Using the CAD tools, I'm just going to zoom in onto an area and I'm going to draw a marquee around the window. I'm just going to click and drag. My marquee selection is set up that it's going to select those items that are contained within my bounding box. Once I've selected it, I might use the copy tool and create a copy of that and slide it over for that window. As you zoom in, you might look and see if you had any of the siding lines or the brick lines. You may need to delete those and clean it up. As I zoom in onto the door, again I'm going to draw a marquee. I might turn on my crosshairs and come in here and draw a line right around the door. Make a copy of it. I'm going to slide it over. Zoom in and see if I have any extra lines. You can see that I have a few off to the left hand side. I'll just draw a marquee around those items. Press the delete key. A couple more that I see over here. And now I have the beginning of the details that I can actually send out to the layout sheet for the profile or the elevation view of those specific objects. In the next example, I want to create a wall detail in my details that I've already created have a wall section in here that has the typical breakout that I've used for my wall section. You can use the View to CAD to start your details. Back over in the floor plan, I'm going to use the elevation camera called the back clip section. I'm going to create a small slice inside of the house and then using the CAD tool View to CAD one more time, I've converted that view to CAD lines only. And if I come in here and I want to crop out a section that I want to use for the wall detail, I'm going to use the CAD tools. I might draw a line in this area, select the line, use the trim tool, trim off the uh, added lines. I'll just kind of repeat that process. Use a line up in here, select it, use the trim tool, trim the line above it, and as I kind of zoom out, all I would do is come in and delete all of the extra lines. Draw a marquee around those, delete them. And now I can come in here and detail out this typical section view that I can save into my CAD details. It's a good starting point. It's at scale and it can save me a lot of time in creating a CAD detail. Here's another example of a CAD detail I've created. Using the back clip cross section camera, I clipped a section through a wall cabinet with a buildup of molding and then went in and added the information for the profile on each one of those molding components. The CAD to View tool can assist in creating details and improving your efficiency. To learn more, see our other videos, our knowledge base, or the built in help. Thanks for watching.